Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. Looking at the name Yad Hey Wad Hey. Talking about Y H W H. Now, if you followed our channel, you know that we just completed this book called The Book of Knowledge, The Keys of Enoch. And you see that's what's on the title here. Now I recently got a question about this name in this book, actually. They had listened to the uh, readings that we're putting up with the electronic uh, voice girl over there. And they had questions about this YHWH and some other information that's given in the book. But we're going to concentrate on this one right quick. Probably when I teach from this book, it's probably going to be from the glossary, basically getting the understanding of these words. But here in the glossary, you see that they are showing YHWH, but then it's reading as Yad He Vod He. So maybe that should be the first question that we'll ask. Is it YHWH or is it YHVH? Okay, so here Google first says that the Tetragrammaton, which is what they call those four letters, is Yad He Wah He. But then down here in vocabulary.com is showing Yad He Vod He, which and calling it the name of God in the Old Testament. And I think that should be brought out that when you hear people pronouncing this name or trying to pronounce this name, it seems to me like they're forgetting a syllable. See how down here they're saying Yahweh? That's actually missing two syllables as if this is just two letters. Yahweh. Now Jehovah gets a little bit closer to me because it's three syllables it doesn't show here the uh, pronunciation with the Y but there would be Yad He Va but then you would need another syllable out there but anyway that doesn't clear up which one it actually is so let's come over and let's look at where is Yad He Wad He in the Bible we see here them calling it Yahweh, which, like you said, is only two syllables. I don't, I don't know that we could hack it up much worse than that. I mean, we're saying that the H sound is silent. It says, is the name of the God of the Israelites representing the biblical pronunciation. And it says that it was revealed to Moses. And then down here, we see that it occurs over 6,800 times in the Hebrew Bible. That would be in the Old Testament. But apparently the first time we see this Yad He Wad He is over here in Exodus chapter 6. And yeah, as you may notice, the more I pronounce it, the more it changes. Maybe our Father is helping us to get the proper pronunciation of this word through repetition. But anyway... It says here, God spoke further to Moses and said to him, I am Yahweh, and I appeared to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in El Shaddai by that name, but by my name, Yahweh, I did not make myself known to them. So let's come over here to the Interlinear Bible. And we see here where they have God. We see a Strong's 430, but that doesn't look the same at all, or does it? My Hebrew is not the best, but something doesn't look right there. So let's come over and let's grab us one of these little charts that talks about the letters and their meanings, I'm talking about the Hebrew letters. Okay, we see this first character here, and then this second one. Let's see if we can find those. That would be Aleph followed by Lamed. And then you have this N looking letter followed by, I think that one there is the 10th letter. So let's see if we can find those. Okay. That N looking letter is He or the 8 sound. So, so far we have Aleph, Lamed, He, and then Yad. So this one is simply talking to the Elohim and not who we recognize as God. 
And I probably could have called that when it says, and God spake to Moses. But then it says, I am the Lord. So let's see what that says. So that's what I believe we're looking for is 3068. Now that's closer to what I would have expected with those two similar letters there. And here it's saying the transliteration is YHVH. So let's just look at the difference. So there's Yod and He, which we have no problem with those three syllables. But there you see Val. It's saying a nail, a peg, a hook joining together, making secure, becoming bound. So I'm looking for the W sound. Why? The so-called O, oh, okay. It's saying that it's, I guess, interchangeable. It's either a V or a W sound because they both mean the same thing. Hmm. So which is it? Let's go wikidifference.com. So the so-called Hebrew scholars say the pronunciation is more with the W sound, but it's like nobody knows the difference. Now, just for curiosity, because I've always heard that the V sound is coming from the German language. And when I look over here at the letters in the German language, I believe it's confirmed because, let me put my glasses on here, the V shape sound has the F word like fo. Instead of Victor, it'll be fo. I can't even pronounce it. But anyway, the W sound has the V. So V, I believe, and you guys can help me uh, understand it, but I believe it came from the Germans. And that's why you see any time they have anything to do with any type of translation, they're using Jehovah, they're using the V sound. But in the keys of Enoch, you see that this V is actually only used one time. And it's with the W in the Tetragrammaton. So I definitely believe the W is it. Um, but y'all help me out that in the comment section. You can add any clarity to this. I'm, I'm gonna go on. So why it's W H? Why should they say Yahe Why is who we recognize as the I Am Lord, or who some would call God. But that brings me to one of the first important points. He doing something a little spooky with this page, like they're trying to hide it. They done changed it to Jesus comes. He used to say Third Testament, and then they're making it so difficult to find. Um, you guys better grab these books when you can. The more we start to understand stuff, the more they'll probably try to hide it from us, so we can't get access to it to understand it at all. But anyway, we're going to look at the Third Testament of the Bible. And one of the things that we're going to learn in the Third Testament is that his preferred name is Father. Down here in um, chapter 19, and verse 4, it says, You have only one God, only one Father. There are not three divine persons who exist in God, but only one divine Spirit who has manifested himself in three different phases to mankind. And mankind in its smallness, while penetrating the profound, believed to have seen three persons when only one Spirit exists. Therefore, when you hear the name Yahweh, says here Jehovah, it says to think of God as Father and Judge. When you think of Christ, see in him God as the Master, as Love. And when you try to comprehend where the Holy Spirit originates, know that it is none other than God manifesting his infinite wisdom to those most advanced disciples. All right, this is what I'm looking for down here. In chapter 17, verse 43, he says, Do not let it be only your lips that call me Father. For many of you tend to do this by rote. I wish that when you say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, those words come from the purest part of your being. 
meditating on each one of the phrases so that you are afterwards inspired in perfect communication with me. So he's talking about how to condition ourselves in our prayer. That's why our prayer starts off like that. Our Father who art in heaven. But we're told to meditate on those words. But look at verse 44. It says, I taught you the powerful masterly word that which truly brings the child closer to his father upon pronouncing with respect and sincerity with elevation and love with faith and hope the word father distances disappear and spaces are shortened for in that instant of spirit to spirit communication nor is God far from you nor are you far from him pray thus and in your hearts, you will receive great benefits of love. So here it is telling us that he prefers to be called father. He's made the connection that the two are the same. Yahweh Wahe is father. But he's saying here that the word father has power. And here in the epilogue in verse 7, we see he says father Yahweh Wahe. Again, stating that they are the same. Now, this is important because like over in the Third Testament, we saw that it was important um, to pronounce that that name, you know, to get our uh, uh, prayers right, our communication right. But in the Keys of Enoch 319, verse 57 says, I was given the sacred words which your son used when he was initiated in the Great Pyramid. I was told that when... The sacred code I, I was used with repetition of Yahweh's names, the names of the ascendant masters and other sacred words. The vibratory structure of the pyramid would open and finalize the programming structure of mankind. So here it is again talking about the power in this Yahweh, but it's saying Yahweh Wahe's names. And so Father would definitely be one of the names, if not the most preferred name. So is this saying that repeating the word Father with this uh, glottal stop is going to open up these pyramids? Now, guys, I must say, I almost didn't publish this video. When I finished recording it, I didn't think it was actually worth editing and publishing, so I just went to bed. But the thing about it, right after doing this video, I actually had a dream about the Merkaba, I believe. Not the common one you see uh, with the pyramid inside of a pyramid, but it was more like we, we read about where the pyramids were um, making the shape of a diamond. Um, and even attached at the other end. That was one dream. And then the other dream. It was like two pictures. And two different uh, dreams. But the other one was like the cover of the face of the book. The Keys of Enoch. So. Hmm. I think there may be a connection between. Uh, this. These words. Uh, Yahweh. Wahe, or. Yahweh. Or however it is that we are pronouncing. I believe if we get that right and um, we pronounce it in repetition, like it says, um, somehow this pyramid is going to open up just like it's talking about here in verse 57. But um, I'm going to do a little bit more research. Like I said, the only reason why I'm putting this video up is because I had that dream. Um, if you have any uh, knowledge of anything similar, please put it down in the comment section. And make sure you have that bell notification button pushed so that when we figure some of this out, you can see those videos when they come out. And make sure you hit the like button and pray for me.